Thanks for the intro, Ryan. Hi, Cam. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Um, I saw you've been dealing with some injuries. Just what's kind of going on right now? It's been hold you at, holding you out of practice a little bit. Uh, I mean, this is just the off season. Uh, you can ask Coach Rule if uh, you know you want clarification, but it's just the off season. Just trying to make sure that uh, I'm ready to go for the season. That's it. Nothing new. And I guess just so far, how has you know for you just how these? I know, like you said, it's it's early, but just how have things been going? How does it feel to be in the building and working with this group? teammates uh, and that's been that's been the biggest part of it all for me um, you know just meeting guys building some camaraderie and you know just uh, learning the system let's go to Jonathan Alexander hey um, <clears throat> hey Cameron um, I hope you're doing well man um, you, you know you've been around the league for some for some time I wonder how does this team <clears throat> compare uh, to to other teams you've played on, uh, as far as talent wise and and what you think you all could possibly um, do this year. Um, well, I mean it's hard to compare any one team from year to year. Uh, every team, whether you're on the Panthers for five years straight, whether you're on the Cowboys, the Chiefs, every individual team every year is different. So it's hard to compare. Um, I mean every team that I've been on is very talented, but this one specifically has a lot of guys that are very very talented. A lot of young guys. Uh, you know, ready to produce in the NFL. Um, you know, me, myself, I'm, I'm a product of one of those guys who had to have a fresh start, um, you know, early in my career. And, you know, you know, seeing guys like Sam come in here and get another opportunity, uh, I mean, you see the, the, the level of talent that he has. And, you know, and that's just one example. Um, but overall, I mean, the sky's the limit. It's all about preparation, execution, and getting – uh, getting guys to be on the same page. Um, you know, that's the biggest thing. That's a, uh, w what we have to, you know, build here uh, to be successful. Let's go ahead and go to Will Palachik and then Joe Person. Hey, Cam, uh, I don't know how much they told you about just the position you're in, but left tackle's kind of been a revolving door here the last couple of years. Uh, how strong do you feel that spot is for your team, and, and how motivated are you to try and, you know, putting some solidarity to that position that hasn't had it for a while? Uh, I mean, you know, it feels good to come in and uh, be given the opportunity to play left tackle. Um, you know, nothing's given. Everybody on this team is competing for everything, but – uh, left tackle is where they've told me that I'm going to play. So, uh, I mean, it, it's been a revolving door, but, you know, it's been it's been a lot for me as well. So, uh, just personally, just looking forward to getting out there and actually competing. Cam, on that same topic, is it nice to know? I mean, I think when we talked to you when you signed, you weren't sure exactly where you were going to end up. But to know you're going to at least go to, to camp, and, you know, slotted to that left tackle spot. Is that, you know, kind of nice nice for you to know with, uh, heading into it? Uh, I mean, it's definitely good to, to, to know what they want me to do here, uh, how they see me. Um, you know, my whole career I've kind of been labeled as a jack of all trades. And, you know, now I, I'm getting the opportunity to go out there and play a position that I feel like I can excel at. Um, I mean, there's ups and downs, obviously, all the time. But, uh, just, yeah, that definitely feels good to, to, to have clarity. And as a follow-up, um, are you anticipating being healthy for the start of camp? And do, do you feel like you'll go to camp as the front runner at left tackle? Uh, yes, I will be healthy for camp. And to my knowledge, yes, sir. All right, next question to uh, PJ Morales from the Charlotte Observer. Hey, Cam, nice to see that you're doing well. Uh, my name is PJ. Uh, just wanted to ask you, you know, you get to the Panthers, you meet guys like Matt, Saylor, John. How do you think you're fitting in with the whole offensive line core as a whole? Uh, I feel like I'm fitting in pretty well. Uh, I mean, this is a really great room to be in. Uh, there's a nice mix of guys who are, you know, older and younger. So, you know, you can kind of meet up in the middle. Um, you know, everybody constantly learns from everybody every day. So, you know, that's, that's, that's one of those things you look forward to coming to work and doing. Um, you know, I've learned a lot from my guy Taylor already. So, uh, <laughs> so you know, that's you know, it, there's no age limit on leadership. There's no age limit on, on, on you know, you can always teach old dog new tricks. And I mean, in this room, I'm one of the old guys. So, uh, you know, learning from those guys and continue to just try to add 
add to them as well. Um, I mean, that, that, that's exciting. Yeah, and then just as a follow-up, how you know important do you feel someone like Taylor is to just the composition of the offensive line, the leadership he brings, just how valuable is he? I mean, we joke around, man. You know, uh, it's always a blessing to, you know, to, to, to get paid what you deserve. We call Taylor franchise around here. So uh, <laughs> we call him franchise. So, <laughs> I mean, that, that, you know, that we have fun with that part. But, uh, I mean, he definitely brings a lot of leadership, man. He, you know, I mean, by play, obviously. You know, he's played at a high level these last few years. And, um, you know, just being one of those guys that you can talk to in the locker room, uh, you know, there's a lot of little things that go into, you know, being a leader and, you know, affecting guys in a positive way. And from my time here, you know, he's done nothing but that. All right, thanks. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go to David Newton and uh, Stephen Toronto. Hey, Cam, David Newton, ESPN.com. You mentioned fresh start and for you and, and people like Sam. Going from a larger market like you have, Sam, to a, to, has to a smaller market like Charlotte, is, is that help at all in getting restarted, jump start, I guess? You know, I don't look at it in that aspect. I look at it as far as the organization and the team and opportunity. Um, the NFL is a business where, you know, you're, you're going to be seen regardless. You know, if you do well, of course you're going to be seen. But if you do bad, you know, you're going to be seen as well. So it, it's all about the opportunity. Um, you know, uh, Sam specifically, and, you know, I, like I said, I just used that as, as an example earlier. Right. But, uh, you know, Sam, he's a young guy. He's maybe, what, 25 years old now? going into Not even that. 30, 24. You know, and he's going into his fourth year in the NFL. Uh, you know, I feel like this guy has elite arm talent. Um, and, you know, it just wasn't the right system for him, whether in New York, whether it may have been coaching, organization, whatever. I don't know. I wasn't there. But for myself personally, I look back at those times for me, and I'm just like, uh, you know, there was always a disconnect when I was in Cleveland. And, you know, when I got to Kansas City, it was, a, like I said, that was my fresh start. So, you know, that, that's what I mean in that sense. Uh, nothing more. Appreciate it. Steven? Cam, you were asked a little bit about having to play different positions across the offensive line. Last year was interesting for you because you started out at swing tackle, then you had to go to right tackle, then you ended up at left tackle. Can you can you tell me a bit about that experience in Dallas last year, and do you feel that you were able to grow as a player from it? Uh, I was definitely able to grow as a player because I was taken a little bit outside of my comfort zone uh, in different areas, so uh, I was able to grow and actually help affect younger guys you know there was a lot of injuries in Dallas last year but uh you know it was uh, it was I was able to grow from the experience in Dallas more so because of just the season we were having and you know uh you know we took a lot of losses and we lost a lot of good players a lot of veteran a lot of uh, great leaders on that team so uh you know it, it was definitely it was definitely a trying year but it was it, it was a, a, a big stepping stone for me personally because, you know, I was able to, you know, step out of, you know, the guy who was everywhere, was thrown around a little bit everywhere. And, you know, they kind of told me last year when I got to Dallas I was going to be a swing guy. And then injuries, you know, took me to right in camp and then the left in, you know, during the season. So uh, to be able to play those positions, man, to tackle the outside, you know, that's what I've been passionate about my entire career. Uh, and like I said, man, just running back to what you guys talked about earlier, just uh, just to be able to get that opportunity now is, is amazing. 